This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. This is the third tutorial with using Fusion 360 and standard modeling methods within Fusion 360 to design this Jeep. Um, I'm just using a Jeep, but we could use any, we could design any vehicle using exactly the same strategies. In the last video, we, were, we carved out the wheel wells and uh, we also added a f one fender. Now this is a steel fender. If you look at an actual Jeep you'd see this is a steel fender. The Jeep would actually have another rubber piece here. So you look at a real picture and you can get that uh, that, exa that example of that. Now the other thing I want to show you is um, the canvases. You can turn canvases off so that you're it's, it's less it's easier to see them. The other thing you can do with the canvas is you can uh, edit the canvas such that you can change the opacity of it so you can make it brighter and, and, and duller. Um, sometimes it's hard to see the canvas and it's too dull and you can you can bring it up. And other times it's it's overpowering. So just a couple of options there I wanted to show you that you can do. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to design a wheel and the wheel is going to sit right in this area here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the model such that I can see the surface I want to sit on which is this one. And I'm going to create a sketch on that face and then I'm going to create a circle I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to try to get the wheel as best I can in the center. Uh, you can do a better job than I'm going to do. Um, something along those lines. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to press pull it. I'm going to create a solid out of it. And right there. And bring it out. Now to see how, how far out you go, you just go to the right view. Sorry, the back view or the front view. <clears throat> and you can see here the wheel comes out to right around there. And later on I can actually grab it here and bring it even bring this out because the wheel wouldn't actually be sitting on that. So I could edit this later on and you know how to do that already so I'm not going to go through that particular thing, feature with you but um, it's supposed to be covered by this little rubber thing. Uh, if it's out like this the kids love doing that nowadays with the big trucks and stuff but it's illegal. Uh, at any rate this is how we're going to do that and I'm going to create a new body out of it as opposed to anything else. Now I'm going to come back here, back to this view, scroll in like this, and I'm going to sit on this face again. I'm going to create a sketch, so I'm going to create a sketch and sit on that face, and I'm going to create a circle, and I'm going to do the circle the same as I did before. I'm going to go out to here, because this is the rim part of it. I right click, press pull that, click that thing, and this one I'm going to cut. I'm going to go in, inbound, so let's try that again sketch, right click it, press pull it, and cut inbound. So and you can see how far in to go, just simply go to the, this view here and it will show you on your, your uh, depth for your wheel. Actually it doesn't, I was wrong, but nevertheless it doesn't really make any difference, it's just for aesthetics at this point. So we'll come in here, we're going to cut that out, it looks a bit right to me, click OK, and it's a cut feature this time. Now. You can do all kinds of things here. You know a tire is not perfectly square, so you can come in here and you can take your time and you can put a fillet on the outside of this edge, maybe two millimeters, something like that. Bad, bad example, very bad example. You can click this edge here, modify, fillet, click this, and then you can just bring it in a little bit, put a little bit of a radius on it to make it look realistic, something like that, get an idea. Uh, and then you can also do the same thing within here, maybe put a put a chamfer on this, modify this, maybe put a chamfer in here like this, just a slight chamfer down, something like that on the rim. Uh, same thing, you can go and, and, and put all um, the tread on here if you want to, which looks really cool. So I'm going to go back to the right view now and I'm going to do the, the cutouts here. So I'm going to create a sketch, I'm going to sit on this face, and do a line tool, I'm going to come in here and zoom in. Now I'm just going to do straight lines. Uh, it's not, it's actually curves if you look at it, it looks a really nice curve, but just for my example, I'm going to do straight lines. Okay, and I stop the sketch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to edit the sketch again. Edit sketch. I'm going to come in and I'm going to select this. Holding the control key down, I'm going to select all these. I'm going to click sketch. And I'm going to come down in here and I'm going to go to circular pattern. Now make sure when you do this, you're in, we're sketching you're in the sketch command. If you try to do there's one here as well under pattern, if you do that it won't work. Okay, so select that. Now we're going to select the turning point where you want it to, to go around. So I'm going to go this, right, which lines up that center. So like that. And now I'm going to, I want five of them. You see there's five of those. I'm going to do five. 
enter, and now I've got the five kind of spokes. All right, so now next thing I do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna cut those spokes out. So I'm gonna select that, hold my control key down. I'm gonna select all those spokes, or the cutouts rather. Press pull them. I'm gonna cut it. Now I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna drag it this way. And I'm just gonna go through the tire. You don't have to go as deep as I just did. Uh, you just have to go through the tire such that it's all the way through. This is not quite, so we're gonna go like that and click OK. And now we've gone all the way through. Actually went into the body, but it doesn't make any difference. Okay, uh, now if you look at it, we're getting there. Now I wanna do is I wanna create a circle here and I'm gonna create those nuts. So I'm gonna go create sketch, and sit on this face, create a circle, and create the circle in the center. I'm just gonna come out to those wheel nuts. It's kind of off a bit, but I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Now, I'm gonna right click on this. Sorry, I'm gonna stop the sketch. Right click, I'm gonna edit it again. And I'm gonna come in and select that line, and I'm gonna turn that line into a normal construction. And when I do, you see what happens is, what that is, is just a normal construction line. We can delete it later. It's just to help us draw for right now. Okay, now I'm going to create a sketch. Scroll back over and sit on that face. I'm going to create a small circle. Now, the you would normally draw a nut. The nuts aren't round, so I would you do a nice job, you come in here, you draw a nice shape of a nut right there. You draw just one first, and then what we do is we're going to copy them all the way around the vehicle. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to create the sketch circle. Again, take your time, do a nice one. Right? For my purposes, that's fine. I'm going to stop the sketch. I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to press pull it. Make sure you get the nut and nut the control key down and get those two guys and then I lift him up and it's kind of large and I'm going to create a new body out of that and I'm going to take I'm going to modify it a little bit to make it look nicer I'm going to put a little radius on it and, you know bring it in like this whoops bang wrong modify fill it there you go now what you do is you model all of your the, one nut completely do it Take your time, do a nice uh, hex shape, just like a normal nut, draw it out the size, and then, then what you do is you, we're gonna copy that nut all the way around. So we come in here, we're going to go like this. All right, create pattern, circular pattern. Now I've selected two, you see I've selected those two features. Now I'm going to select the axis. So the axis is going to be this guy here. That's what I did earlier. I drew that circle. I can grab this one too, create that. And you can see it's created three. Now notice I, these are features, so I went under the create. When I was sketching, I was under the sketch to create the circle. I had some problems with that in the past. Now I'm going to change it to five, because there's five nuts on it, and click OK. And now you can see I've got the five nuts. And so there's my wheel. Now the last step is, once your wheel is completely done, you don't have to design another wheel. We can simply do this. Select the wheel. Before I do that, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go move copy. I'm going to select that wheel. Selected everything except it didn't select the, the rotate this thing here. And I hold the control key down. I'm going to make sure I get those two. And the nuts as well, all the nuts. Now, it grabbed it right in the center, which is perfect. The other thing we got to do is we got to create a copy of it. If you don't, it'll drag the whole wheel. Then you can take this wheel and you grab him and you can bring it right over to there. Okay? Or, and, and just click OK and then do it again and do the back. Or you can do this. Say we're doing the back wheel. I could come here like this. I could zoom in. I can hold the control key down and turn it. Now you can see here, I can rotate it like that, like a wheel would be. And then I can grab him here like this and I can put him up here. And it's kind of hard to see where you're at now. You just kind of move the model around and go, okay, I can move it in a bit, so on. And then back like this and, and it's going to be in the center of the back of the Jeep, right? If I spun it around and went to the back back side, I think it would probably be better if I did that. And so you bring it in until you're, you're happy with it. I'm just going to leave it where it's at there. Click OK. And there's a copy of it. Now, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't do that particular move until we mirrored it. Because I would draw this one and this one. I would mirror it and then I'd grab a hold of this wheel and put it on the back afterwards, otherwise you're going to get two. Okay, so that's the final video of that, or the third video, 
Um, the next one, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to start modeling the side of the vehicle and creating a side of the vehicle. Uh, also, too, you can come in here. You can you can start to model the windows. You can start. You, you already have the skill set. This document or this this video has basically showed you that already. You can model this handle, so this would be sunken in. This part here would be raised out. Uh, we could we could draw these lines here, and we could put a very very small cut up here like this. So you know maybe two millimeters wide and, and, and three millimeters deep or something, so it would give you that effect of the door. So when you 3D printed it, it would actually it would do to actually do that. Same with the hinges. On the Jeep, the hinges are proud and they're quite, uh, I don't know the word to use, but they're, they stick out and they're quite proud. So you could design them as well as this thing. Do the whole side of the vehicle and then we'll mirror it afterwards. Thanks for watching.